Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop at 50 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. In this video, we'll be solving 66 plus 1. So we are given this large integer represented as our digits, which is nothing but this thing right here. And the digits are ordered from most significant to least significant in left to right order. For example, this 1, 2, 3 is 123. This is least significant. This is most significant. And we have to increment the large number by 1 and return the result of digits. So if we add plus 1 here, this will be 1, 2 and this will be 4. So this is what we have to do and we have to return this in the array itself. And it is also mentioned that it does not contain any leading zeros. If we have let's say this 99 and if we try to add plus 1 to it, this will be 0, this will be 0 again and the carry 1 will be 1 here. So this 99 will become 100. So these things we will have to keep in mind. So let me show you how we can do that. Firstly, let's reverse this digits because it, it will be easier. Otherwise, we can even iterate from right to left but this is a much easier approach and we can do that by using this reverse function in JavaScript. Now we will need our carry. So this is nothing but one which we want to add. The second thing is index. So we can start from zero and while our carry is equal equal to what? So we can use it as just this while carry and there are two cases here. If our index is less than digits dot length. Here also we have one case. If our digits at i equal equal to nine. If this is the case we can make our digits at i to zero because we will have to carry one and we don't need to add one here as we saw or else we will have to increment one at this point so digits at i plus equal one and we will update our carry to zero yeah this is like the first case now if our i is greater than uh, digits dot length then what it means is so this is that 99 or 199 or any of the three numbers where we will have to add one more number cases so for this what we can do is we can push one to our last element which will come eventually in the front when we reverse it back and we will make our carry as zero. We also have to keep the incrementing our i so that the while loop keep running and one more thing we have to do is we have to reverse the digit back to its original place and we can return this digits and this completes our solution. Let me run this. It works. Let me submit this. It works. I hope you found this video helpful. If yes, you can consider subscribing to this channel and thank you so much for watching.